Hi, Two. I'm Professor Dotton, and this is Computer Application, CAP 101 at Middlesex Community College. Uh, today, we're going to have um, a series of uh, individual presentations of their research projects on technology um, that they've been working on throughout this semester. I trust that you will enjoy um, these student presenters. Hi, my name is Bro Child. What I'm going to be talking about today is television, how technology, well, television wise, improved over the last decades. It improved from the black and white TV all the way to LCD, LED, and plasma. The thing about television is it helped change how, as consumer, we receive things. Okay. Um, Back to my train of thought. Well, um, television has made the things from just being an idea to reality. Um, th that being said, um, marketers use this uh, innovative technology to influence how we see things in real life time. Like, um, for example, if you guys um, ever look, you know, all these commercials with the cars and the girls and all this stuff here, these marketers use television to market what we should see and perceive things. All right, um, large screen TV viewers, um, statistically wise, um, when people um, look into uh, large screen TVs, they pay more attention to, uh, to the advertisement more than the small screen TV. The thing about a LCD TV, the, you know, the big plasma screen TV, um, it gives you a bigger image. It, it kind of photographs it into your brain to actually make you memorize it. And, and, Instead of having a black and white object inside your head, you can't really remember it because it's not colored. Like, this is a major difference between, you know, back then and now. Um, because of the large screen TV, we're more absorbent to the, the television program. Uh, I'm not going to read all that. It's just somebody saying random stuff, okay. But um, television, brand recognition. The thing about brand recognition in television is, like, we all look at television, and then after that, like, every single brand in the television, like, people advertise it. FedEx, um, Apple's, computers, everything. You name it. Like, all these stuff here is in front of your face for people to actually know what kind of brand it is. People memorize what is on TV so they actually know what kind of brand they want to pick. People just don't go to the box store and say, oh, you know what, I found this object here. And then, you know, just because it's a, um, a counterfeit, people won't get that because it's not something they're familiarized with. Even though a commercial product and a product itself that's being um, sold, like um, Downey and a market basket brand, you will actually buy the Downey product more than the uh, market basket brand. The reason being is because we all believe as consumers to think that the Downey product is the best product in the world. I don't know why. It's the television markets advertise it that way. Um, the reason they do it is because they want the name to be known. And we want, well, as marketers, they want to be known. So the only way to be known is to put and embed the idea that their best product is what your product is needed. Um, place of media. Television has influenced mostly through broadcasting. Um, the reason is because, like, um, my mom and dad, they personally don't watch television. Well, they only watch television. They don't know nothing about internet at all. Like, you know, they don't use Facebook. They don't use um, Instagram. They have a cell phone. They don't know how to text. But I tell you this here. They look at the TV and they know every single brand that is being broadcasted in television. You guys might think about it, but the, no, because we are in a new um, society where technology is the most advanced thing. But there is people out there that still, way back in the day, still stuck what is being, you know, like under the rock. My mom and dad live under the rock. They don't know what's going out there in the world. So television <laughs> needs to broadcast all this information so for us as consumers, we know what it is. Um, Collective ethnicity. Okay. Um, hold up. Got to put my train of thought back. Okay. 
um, dominant language. Uh, every single, uh, well, in the United States particularly, they advertise it to a certain different part of cultures. Like, um, in the United States, Latinas is like, the Spanish spoken language is like one of the most one compared, like um, English. Um, if you like notice in a pamphlet, there is a Spanish version and an American version. So, like in television, there is how can I put this in word? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't think of it. Simulcast. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, basically. Ethnicity, it have expanded how advertisement is being broadcasted. Oh. Okay, program involvement. Um, programs is, it have influenced how um, today TV show is being broadcasted because um, on television, every single age from age of two or zero all the way until the death rate. Um, they all watch it, so marketers have to be be aware of who they're targeting and who they're not targeting, and they have to present themselves adequately. Um, so basically, the commotion that's being advertised is being uh, it does play a very important role, and um, so basically, they have to advertise the message uh, a kind of way to make us understand what they're trying to achieve. And in conclusion, television has made a major impact in today's society and will continue to prosper in the near future. And this is my reference. Thank oh, you. Excuse me, put that back on.